So formally, the class NP is the set of non-deterministic polynomial time decidable problems. That is to say that it's a problem that can be solved by a program that runs in polynomial time but has non-deterministic elements in it. Now, I'm going to explain what that is in just a moment. But first, what I'd like to do is give you a handle on intuitively what this means. So I like to say, so I like to say that NP stands for nice puzzle problems. So let me explain what I mean by that. So think of a problem like solving a Sudoku problem. You might uh, phrase this as a decision problem by saying, here is a grid. Can this be filled in to complete the Sudoku problem? And it has to satisfy that if you don't know, this is a very uh, popular newspaper puzzle that involves uh, you're given a bunch of numbers in a 9 by 9 grid, and you have to fill in more numbers. You have to fill in all the grid cells. And ultimately, the solution that you fill in has to have the property that every row and every column has the numbers 1 through 9. And each block, each of these dark blocks, also has the numbers 1 through 9. So I can give you a Sudoku like this. And it could be very, very challenging to know whether or not this can be completed to, um, to satisfy the Sudoku constraints. But the next day in the newspaper, or if it's a puzzle magazine, maybe at the back of the puzzle magazine, it's very easy to convince you that the, if the answer is yes. So if the answer is yes, then I can prove it to you by simply giving you a small, what's called cert uh, accepting certificate, which in this case just means a filled in uh, Sudoku board. So if I fill in the Sudoku board, you can very quickly do two things. Check to see if it's correct, if all the rows and columns have the numbers 1 through 9. That's a polynomial time uh, decision problem that you, can, that you can write really easily. And also check if, the, if the, the cells that you're given match what was given in the original puzzle. And that also is a, is a very fast thing to, to be able to check. All you have to do is run through the cells of the original puzzle, and each time there was something that was filled in, check if it matches in, in the answer. So even though it may be very difficult to answer the question, if you're given the right kind of information, you can check it very fast.